So, going through and taking all this reflective tape off, with the heat gun and the scraper, it leaves a lot of residue. And I'm kind of pausing this to kind of show you. So, I was looking for the, uh, it's like a rubber wheel that helps get off a bunch of grime and stuff. And I found this, I actually ordered this, and I had no idea where it was at, but I found it when I was looking for that rub wheel. And check this out. This is so much easier. So I highly suggest, I'll look through my Amazon and link it. It's so much easier to take it off, but it, there is a little bit more residue here, so we'll see how that rubber wheel does. got to the point to where the outer reflective layer is off what always remains is this sticky part so just use a uh, decal remover throw it on a drill comes right off it's got to go around the bus one time unfortunately I got that one and then a small one left so hopefully I don't have to get the bus done I went ahead and ordered some on Amazon but it won't get here till Wednesday today is Thursday it's almost a week and that's on Prime. I'm sure they're backed up because it was just Prime Day. Probably pick up some at the hardware store. At least I hope. All right, getting back after it today. Wes is out here about to try and turn on the diesel heater. So we actually put one of the uh, Wabasto knockoff heaters in the mini bus and throwing diesel in there. Gonna see how it how it works. So got the diesel heater and obviously the uh, solar kit that Aaron hooked up. Uh, ended up having to use a little bit of a tricky situation to thread in a nozzle for the tank. But gonna kick it on and see how it goes. Oh, you back there? How's it going? Good man, I'm getting ready to clean up in here. I've made a mess. You said you're ready to dump some fuel in the diesel heater and see if it leaks? Yeah, what, what do you got going on here? Um, I got all the plumbing done for the sink. I put a gray tank underneath. It's a, a five gallon bucket. It seems to be working okay. And uh, I had to drill a hole th right here uh, for the plumbing to go through. And of course rerouted all the water lines to the exterior for the you know, hot water heater. Since, of course, we were gonna catch the countertop on fire. <laughs> so, <laughs> anyway, got all that done. Uh, getting ready to reseal. There's, we got so many fittings here. Um, some of this stuff's not sealing up really good. I don't know why for sure, but I'm gonna put a little silicone on each fitting and call her good and hope it doesn't leak down the road. We'll see what happens. So. See yeah. if this diesel heater works. All right, let's do it. And no, no fuel coming out, so that fitting should be sealed pretty good in there then. That's great, man. And I'll build a little shield just to go around this, a little sheet metal flange to protect this so when people are, you know, getting in and out of here with their stuff, it won't get bumped. All right, man, I, I think, I think we're good. See if it kicks out some warm air, huh? Yeah, I don't. I have no idea how to operate this. I, of course, we don't read instructions. We just go for it. <laughs> so we, we like to learn the hard way sometimes. I have no idea how this works. So kick it on. It says on. I wonder how you change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit. 
You got the uh, instruction manual here somewhere, I'm assuming. <laughs> I don't know what all that did. <laughs> P-2.3, whatever that means. Let's Six, just see if it's kicking years. out some warm air. Yeah. And the vent is right here. I can't even tell if there's any fuel that's made it up through this line yet, actually. Yeah, it's blowing out cool air. Okay. Actually... Got it. Yeah, the pump pump's doing its thing. Yeah, look, right here's some little fuel. It's it's pumping up fuel now. Getting ready to enter. How'd you get the pump to start working and start doing it on its own? It just did it by itself. So it must initiate a certain sequence of phases or something that makes it work. But it just, it just kicked on. Lukewarm air. Lukewarm? Yeah. If the panel display is P-XX, indicate that XX in indicates pump oil volume. It indicates that you have entered the manual temperature control mode and the pump oil volume for operation is restrained within a range between the current pump oil volume and the initial pump oil volume. So that's probably why that kicked on because that's the P pump. Yep. So I wonder if the higher the number, the more it pumps in and the hotter it gets. I'm not sure. In the condition of not setting, what? In the condition of not setting, press raised first. Press the confirmation key at the same time. What? Huh. If anyone knows what E-10 is, <laughs> let us know. <laughs> these, uh, these instructions are very vague. Okay, now the fan just kicked up again. Oh yeah, listen to it. That's, that's the inlet. It's not pumping any more fuel at the moment. All right, so we might have this thing figured out. Yeah, it's getting warmer now. That number's going up. Wes is saying it's getting warmer. So what, oh, number's going down. Oh, 54 degrees Celsius, 55, 56, is it feeling warm in there? So Wes is saying it's getting hot, fan speed's going 70 degrees Celsius. I feel like we're in like a lab and things are kicking off exponentially. Oh yeah, that's what we need. It's nice and warm. No right. question about it. We're gonna have to. Uh, we got the coronas and put on our bathing suits here pretty soon. <laughs> it's gonna be nice and toasty in here. Mm-hmm. Ninety-five degrees Celsius. I have to turn that pump down. So I'm guessing. This is the temperature internally, 103 degrees Celsius. And you click through the okay. I turn the pump down to, we'll just turn it down all the way. So that's as low as the pump will go. And I think that's the internal temperature there, the green to the yellow to the red. Okay. So we turn the pump down, you can hear it slowing down, the fan slowing down still gaining temperature what I did is I just kept it on the actual uh, temperature that was pumping out and that's when it started going up hmm. 
You can hear the pump slowing down now. Yeah. Pump's kind of slowing down. So I was having some problems with this thing leaking. Got quite a few fittings here. And for some reason, I couldn't get it to seal up. It just had, a, it wasn't a big leak, just a, a drip about every, I don't know, five seconds or something. Work in shops all the time. Worked in all kinds of uh, body shops and mechanic shops and hot rod shops and all that kind of good stuff. And the stuff we use is this. <laughs> Not just regular silicone, but I'm using some gasket maker. This stuff is, uh, it's really great. It's for engines. Um, so hopefully it'll hold up pretty well here and won't, uh, won't come loose and having a leak. What's up, Nala? What's up, kitty? You'll come say hi to everybody? All right. Say hi. Say hi, girl. <laughs> what are you out doing, huh? I'm fixing leaks in the sink. A little bit of gasket maker right here so when I screw this on up underneath the sink it won't leak this wasn't necessarily a spot that was leaking right here but I'm just <laughs> kind of going a little overkill here make sure get every joint sealed up nicely just like so think that would hold. I'm going to tighten this one up. All right. Keep your fingers crossed for me. Okay. Now that I've got the uh, sink drain all fixed up here, I'm going to go ahead and take you out. And what's up, Kobe's? What's up, bud? Oh, kitties. Kitties and Kobe's. Nala, it's all good. All right, outside, Cope. Outside, bub. Okay, and like I was saying, I'm gonna... Man, this thing's dusty. Take you out here and show you what I've done uh, underneath. So, basically, this is where I've mounted the hot water heater. I don't necessarily like this, <laughs> but it the the mirror actually sticks out a little bit further than this thing so hopefully it won't get knocked off or sideswipe by anything and i think as i go i'm probably going to build a um just a little you know shield that goes around this thing to help protect it a little better that way rain and debris and crap just can't fall right in there but anyway at least we won't be catching the countertops on fire this way <laughs> and this is what i did underneath i'll take you underneath here show you so we come out of the floor right there and I've just attached a uh, five gallon bucket under here and these uh, these little seals here are from a uh, company or, or maybe they're not actually a company but they're called Uniseal and they uh, seal up really good um, so anyway you drill a two inch hole and you can put inch and quarter pipe in there and it's a little tough getting it in there, but once it slides in, they can't slide back out. It's the way that, that it's designed. And it seals onto this surface and the you know surface of the PVC pipe as well. So anyway, got it draining up near the top. Couldn't go all the way to the top just because of these uh, structures up here, little uh, extra support structures. And then on this side, I know it's, it's not the best workmanship for sure, but it, it's gonna work. I uh, just got a valve here, you know, and you just crank that off or on, you know, that way you can hold some of the water or just go ahead and dump it all, um, you know, while you're uh, traveling. Uh, you don't necessarily need to hold much water here, but just in case, uh, going to a national park scenario or something like that, you know, you can hold some of the gray water here. Hey, little bee, I got a bee crawling around me and a cat crawling on me. 